Hey everybody, it's Chris up here at Avalon RV. Today we're going to give you a video walkthrough of the 2015 Salem Cruise Light 272 QBXL. One of the very first features you'll notice is right up front we have our uh, power tongue jack. Um, so you push the button, uh, that's going to go up and down, uh, making it real nice and easy for you to get it onto the front of your truck there. So uh, no more cranking, uh, work smarter, not harder. So uh, right up front you'll notice we have our diamond plating right up front. Uh, so rocks, road debris, things like that are going to go ahead and hit your diamond plating um, and not going to ruin the front of your Salem. Um, another cool little feature with this unit here, we got power uh, rear and front stabilizer jacks, power slide, power awning, all can be controlled straight from this remote. So uh, want to bring your awning out, you got your remote in your pocket, push your button, your awning is going to come out real nice and easy. Um, you want to bring your awning back in, same thing, push your button, awning is going to come right back in. So. A uh, nice, cool, easy feature there. You notice you got a nice big storage compartment right here um, on a piano hinge, so it won't break or seize. Uh, so a nice big pass-through storage, um, so you can fit a lot of uh, you know gear, lawn chairs, plenty of stuff can fit in there. So uh, plenty of room to bring everything you need for your camping trip. Um, another cool feature on this unit, uh, we do have an outdoor kitchen. Uh, so we got our grill with our quick quick propane hookup that's linked to the front of the camper so it's going to use the, the propane that's on the camper there um, so you got your nice grill set up here and um, you got some running water some counter space um, you got some nice little storage space as well too so a drawer for your utensils grilling utensils anything you need then you got a nice mini fridge here so you can keep your drinks cold while you're outside uh, grill up some steaks prep some steaks or whatever you're gonna whatever you're gonna eat um, you got a nice little area to cook outside so We'll head on the inside, check out some of the features on the inside here. One of the first things you'll notice is the nice, beautiful floors. Um, we got a nice big sofa sleeper over here um, and everything like that. So we'll start up front. We got our nice sofa sleeper. So this is going to jackknife into a sleeper. Um, and then you also have some storage behind it. So if, uh, blankets, pillows, anything like that, um, you got a nice place to put them. Your AC is ducted through your roof. Your heat's going to be ducted through your floor, um, so you're going to get a nice coverage of heat or AC all the way throughout this unit. Um, over here to our kitchen, um, you see we have our nice big appliances here. We got our double door fridge and freezer combo. Um, we got our oven, uh, three stove top burner. We got our microwave, and we also have some nice little storage here. So um, plenty of room for you know anything you're going to need for you know plates, cups, whatever you need. You got room for it. Got some nice drawers here, so some nice storage drawers with some uh, silverware separators already built in there. Another nice big drawer. Um, full extension drawers, stainless steel ball bearings, stainless steel hinges, so very strong, very durable. Um, you'll notice over here we got our nice big U, uh, dinette. Um, this dinette tabletop will drop down onto some running boards, um, and then your pillows on the end here will fill in the middle to create another sleeping area. Um, so if you need some more sleeping area, um, then you can you can easily do that with your uh, table right up front here. So we'll move on to the side here, right into the bathroom. Um, you're going to notice a nice big um, tub and shower combo. So if you want to take a bath, you can do that. Um, you got your sink with some storage underneath. Um, you also have your medicine cabinet in there where um, you know you can put your toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like that. Um, so plenty of room, you know, for in the bathroom for anything you're going to need there. Right before you get into the bunkhouse, you have a nice little pantry here. So a nice deep pantry. You can see my whole arm fits in there. So you can put chips, uh, canned goods, you know, really anything you need um, in that storage. Then you have a nice drawer down here um, for some more storage. So um, as you can tell, they utilize a lot of the area for storage. Jump back into the bunkhouse here. Um, you notice you got your four bunks um, alongside here. So four different bodies can sleep in here. Um, with their own designated beds. You have some lights in here as well too. You got a nice big spot for your TV. So you're going to put a nice big TV here. Um, so kids or whoever's going to be in the bunkhouse can have their own entertainment. Um, then they also have a nice little storage compartment here. Um, so they can put their clothes in or whatever gear the kids or whoever's going to be utilizing the bunkhouse. Um, they'll have a place to put their stuff. So a uh, nice little feature there. So we'll go ahead and we'll head back to the master bedroom here. Um, and then uh, we'll check out the master bedroom. But before we get in there, um, we do have this nice big entertainment stand. So you can uh, mount a TV straight to this. Um, you got your DVD player built right in. Um, so DVD, CD player built right in. Then you got some nice cabinets um, underneath. So for video games, uh, movies, anything like that, um, you'll be able to have that. So we'll jump in the bedroom. 
You got a nice big bedroom area on either side of your bed. You have a nice big uh, cabinet here so you can hang up your clothes, uh, hang up shirts, hang up pants, whatever the case may be. And then underneath your bed, you also have access to your outside storage. Um, so anything that you pack from the outside, you can also access from inside. Um, so if it's raining outside, you don't want to go outside and get it. Um, you can access it right in here. Um, also, you have your two wood pocket doors here. Um, so if you want to create some separation or some privacy in the master bedroom, you can open up your pocket doors and create some privacy um, in your master bedroom. So, As you can tell, there's a lot of nice features in the, the Cruise Light 272 QBXL. Um, this has been an exclusive video walkthrough up here at Avalon RV Center. Make sure you check us out online at avalonrvcenter.com. Um, this has been Chris in this walkthrough, and we'll see you guys next time.